Hello, welcome to my video blog. Uh, my name is Michelle Poe. I am owner of Triple Four Creative. We are a boutique design and marketing company. And this is my video blog. This is number four. It was one of my goals this year to do a blog and I realized that I just won't sit and write it. So I decided to hop on and do some video. So a quick, quick intro of myself. So we have been talking about goals since the first video. Um, and we have been using the SMART Goals Guide to help us through this process. So last week, we chatted about the S, which is specific in the SMART Goals, and to get really specific, really specific and break down what it is that you want to achieve. So you start off with this, you know, this big goal over here. I want to grow my business. I want to add X number of employees, X number of jobs. Great. You want to do that by the end of the year. How does that look when you break it down into, all right, that looks like this per month. That looks like this per week. And then what are daily tasks that I can do to help achieve this really big goal at the end of the year? So hopefully you are still working on that or hopefully you have nailed that down. Uh, but if you haven't, that's okay. There's a lot that goes into setting goals and a lot of things that you need to think about. So this week, I wanted to chat about the M and the A. So measurable and attainable. So as you're going through your goals, it's really important to make sure that you can measure are you growing or growing? I'm sorry. <laughs> this blog's meant to be raw too, so I might have some mishaps. So measurable. So you've set, you've set your goals. Can you measure them? You have to be able to measure to make sure that you're working towards your goals. Now, when you're setting them too, you want to make sure that these goals are attainable uh, to say, I want to grow, you know, a million dollars next month when you're sitting at $50,000 last month. That's not attainable. That's not realistic. It's not, it's not going to happen. Uh, be honest with yourself. So make sure that they're attainable. So I wanted to give an example of the measurement. Um, I chatted a little bit in depth about some, some goals that you might have or just some thoughts and ideas in the actual blog body itself, so you can go ahead and read that. But I wanted to give a good example of the, of the measuring. Some of the goals you have probably are circled around numbers. So whether it's, you know, grow by X percent or, you know, five to 10 additional transactions a month, whatever it is, a lot of them circle around numbers and that, and that's great. Um, but also pretty obvious and pretty easy to figure out once you have the numbers. So what if your goals are, let's say, to improve your customer service? How the heck do you measure that, right? So one of the things that we do for, for our customers, and it's more so for the marketing tracking, is we implement called tracking on all of their marketing they're doing. So whether it's their website or their social media accounts, uh, print ads, whatever they have, it has a specific number. So when that customer calls in, we know where it came from. But another great thing that call tracking does, it gives you the ability to listen to the phone calls. So if one of your goals is to improve customer service, you can listen. You can listen to what's going on between the person that calls into your business and the employee or even yourself. How is it being handled? Are customers calling in, asking for information when it should have been sent out to them already? Uh, is scheduling, are there mishaps in scheduling? Is everything working smooth with that? You know, are, are the people that are answering the phones courteous and getting basic information? You know, what is happening in those phone calls? So what you can do is implement the call tracking and then you set up a grading system. So you wanna grade based off certain criteria each different person in the company. You know, where are they at? 
I included a link to, it's an Excel sheet that you can set up for your company to get the grading system. Um, you're gonna have to customize it depending on whatever your industry is, but you can customize this and then grade everyone where they're at right now. And this will help you to see what you need to improve on and then go back every week, every month and regrade them. So this will give you an idea of where you need to improve and how to improve it. So once you, once you do that, if, if your goal is to get better at your customer service and you can actually hear and listen and see where you need to improve and then be accountable too because you're being graded on it, this I can guarantee you will improve your numbers. So that, that's a great way to track something that might seem untrackable. So I hope that helped and I will see you next week and we will continue to finish out these SMART goals. And by the end of the S-M-A-R-T, you will have some goals set. I hope you have a great week and I will see you next time.